Welcome back, gentlemen, and welcome back to FS Daily News. Happy Thursday. Only one more day to the start of the weekend. Just seems like this week is just flying by us. Anyways, though, today in news, we got an update on two of the biggest American maps we are all waiting for, and that is American Falls and Alma, Missouri. Plus, BC Bueller has updates on his Volvo Wea. Intestine list, well, it is still not here as they are probably getting back from FarmCon now. Remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Let's try to go for 300 likes on this video. If we can hit 300 likes before tonight's stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll do maybe a little bit of surprise on there, but we have to hit 300 likes. Okay, now roll that intro, and let's see some news. We're going all the way to the top. Welcome back. Okay, so let's talk about some mapping news to get the day started. First one is from Yuri Agri Modding, a map that everybody's been waiting for, and that is Bally Spring, which of course it is available on PC, but is not out on console. Well, anyways, on the third, Irish Connor actually posted some good news. Bally Spring for consoles is now with Giant Software. Hopefully it'll be released soon. So they have already sent it off and just keep your fingers crossed hopefully it does pass because i know a lot of console players have been really wanting to play this map plus this is a map that actually has new animals on it and it's gonna be really interesting to see it actually on consoles and then on to some bad news about a map and that is about american falls from lancy boy unfortunately american falls failed yesterday but he says that they are easy fixes he'll be sorting these out over the weekend hopefully sometime next week it'll be back in testing these fixes will also be done on console version as well so hopefully next week we actually see it on that testing list and i'm hoping by the end of this month we can actually see american falls actually available for all platforms then after that one some more mapping news and this one is from ms modding well guess what he is actually sharing the pda for buckland so you can see what the field sizes are he's currently working on a few things in the pda then it will be ready for testing with giants so this is getting closer and closer to it actually being sent off to giants too this is of course a uk based map the next we have some news from flint town modding an update is going to be coming to his decorative pack that he did release i think it was last week but anyways the pack will now include two camouflage tents a smoky the bear billboard which hopefully giants actually allows that and a new national forest sign i would like to see a lot more signs with this but it's looking really good do you guys plan on actually using this on your guys' save games then after that, we have some news from Gamer Design. He's actually been putting in some work on his 669 loader. It is now going in game, and the 669 SD Skid Dozer is getting its finishing touches also. This was an early pick before debranding and correct item for colors. The 669 SD original model was a cat, but of course, it's been debranded for consoles. So this will be, of course, coming to all platforms too. And something else that's going to be coming for all platforms, I just cannot wait for this map. It is looking, every single time he posts a picture on this, it's just like a big tease. And this, of course, is from Chewbacca. This is Alma, Missouri. And just look at these pictures. Just wow. Let me know what you guys think about this map. And if you guys are planning on playing this map, I know I am definitely going to be playing on this map. And I'm supposed to be showing off about the first copy of it sometime at the end of this month and i cannot wait for that but the caption on that says just love these rolling hills so do i okay now let's get to that last piece of news for today which is from bc bueller which of course i've actually been showcasing a lot of these trucks actually on the streams i've done a video on these but anyways things are finally getting wrapped up on his projects this week a few new options has been added to the beds as he went through them including some new decal changes and the addition of unrealistic capacities to all the beds he's also decided to base the unrealistic capacity options off of five times the capacity realistic capacity the volvo and the bed pack he's somewhat gone through his final checks and changes and now it's mainly the mac update that he wants to finalize the options and configurations on so we should be hopefully seeing this sometime very soon probably by the end of this month well right there was all the news for today now tonight's schedule live stream of course at 7 p.m central standard time which will be doing the giant harvest on edgewater which also includes that potato field. I have a feeling this is a harvest that is going to take a while, but we are going to make some money off of our fields. Remember, all the links to the news and testing list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash the like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button, 
to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farm Simulator and make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss any of the videos here on the channel. Well, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you